Hello, El Marie with EUR Web. Hi. Hi, Corey. Congratulations. Thank you. I feel like you kind of foreshadowed your success with the character Adam Brody's uh, <laughs> Get Your Tux Ready. We're going to the big show. <laughs> and so here we are. So I want you to speak to the importance of being recognized for a film that shined a light on the stereotypes and also kind of poked fun of the stereotypes of black characters in film. Yeah. I, I, look, I, there's a Victor Hugo quote that he, he says, uh, nothing is more powerful than an idea whose time has come. And so, you know, I was very passionate about this film. Everybody who worked on this film was very passionate about it. Nobody was there for the money because we didn't have any money. So people were there because they believed in it. And so uh, to be here now and, and to receive this, this kind of response is, is uh, yeah, it feels incredibly surreal. I'm so grateful for it. I think everybody on the film is so grateful for it. Um, yeah, the, the, just the sort of, we didn't have a huge marketing budget, and so we relied on word of mouth a lot, and people who liked the film telling other people that they liked the film. And so, uh, yeah, it is, you know, hopefully the, hopefully the lesson here, and it's try, kind of what I try to convey in my speech, is that, there is an audience for things that are different. There is, a, there is um, an appetite for things that are different. And, you know, a story with black characters that's going to appeal to a lot of people doesn't need to take place on a plantation, doesn't need to take place in the projects, doesn't need to have drug dealers in it, doesn't need to have gang members in it. That there's an audience for different depictions of people's lives and then that the, the, the that it, there is a, a market for depictions of black life that are as broad and as deep as any other depictions of people's lives. Does that make sense? Yeah. Thank you. Final question, number 215. Hi, Mr. Jefferson. It's Maxwell from Axios. How's hey. it going? I uh, wanted to ask uh, about um, the sort of the, the world building in Boston that you did in the film. Can you tell me about what you learned about Boston and, and Massachusetts and the area in general um, while you were producing American fiction and then kind of like how that played into uh, everything you did in the film? Yeah, I mean, the, the I wanted to depict a different kind of Boston than is normally depicted in films. So I said no pictures of Fenway Park no pictures of duck boats on the Charles, right? It's sort of, uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to explore a different side of Boston. And, and, you know, one of the different sides of Boston is black people. You know, there's, you don't really see, it's, you know, there's a lot of The Departed, which I love. There's a lot of uh, The Town, which I love. Uh, Gone Baby Gone, which I love. Like, most of the depictions of Boston are sort of like, you know, it is sort of like working class Italians or Irish people. And I think that, um, you know, there's a whole other side of Boston that we don't that we don't really see, and and I think it was important. You know, the, the sh we weren't able to shoot in Martha's Vineyard because the film didn't have Martha's Vineyard money, but you know, the, there's a little bit of sort of like a nod to Oak Bluffs in the film, and sort of a nod to the to the sort of um, to the black community that that is sort of thriving in that in that part of the world. So, yeah, it's important to me to. All it was was, not all it was, but, but it was important to me ref to reflect the, the diversity of the black experience, you know? It is, uh, we are just as nuanced and complex and diverse as any other group of people. And so, to me, showing that side of Boston that isn't normally shown and showing these kinds of people who aren't normally shown on, on the big screen, it was, that's important to me. It's just, I think it's important to show diversity within diversity. I think that sort of like people, people assume that diversity means one thing and you have one black guy in a room and that gives you the, the in totality of the black experience. And to me it's important to recognize that there is no, no one black person contains the totality of the black experience. That you have people in the projects, of course, you had people who were slaves, of course, but, but you know, between the sort of like, after the sort of like pole over here of the slave, you have the pole of being president of the United States. That's part of the black experience in this country. And you have millions of stories in between those two poles to tell. And so if we could just show a different side of, of that part of the world, 
If you showed a different side of Massachusetts, if you show that sort of like different side of Martha's Vineyard and Oak Bluffs and just show that to people, that's, that's important to me. I'm sorry I was so verbose, I talked too much, I'm sorry, but thank you.